All right, welcome back everybody. This is M Dog, and uh, today we're going to be fishing out at the 34 meter hole, at least to start out with. And this is going to be just probably a pretty chill uh, video of really just fishing um, with happy hour. And I noticed that I am at 98.9% .9 marine fishing, so um, it is possible during this hour of fishing we will hit 99% and be on that last percentage. Um, on this long journey to 100% marine fishing. Uh, so it's been a good good journey. We've made a ton of silver, had a ton of fun, and caught some really fascinating fish here at the Norwe uh, Norwegian Sea. But as we draw near, thought might as well, let's make a chill video and uh, just kind of see how it goes. We're starting out with, um, actually some of the, the drop shot, what I have on is, might not do as well at night, but that's fine. We do have this Tiny fish 08. I'm hoping this will do okay during the evening hours. And um, you never know, the shrimp might catch a few things too. And then during the daytime, um, we will probably switch over to the blue lurker. Uh, before I get too far into the video, as a service announcement, uh, let me just mention that I am likely going to be, it's not 100% yet, but I'm likely going to be shutting down our chat channels. So there currently there are three chat channels I can show you really quick. So you've got M Dog, family friendly, family friendly one, two, and three. And um, I believe that the answer, at least for now, is going to be um, uh, just to shut them down. Uh, and it's it's really hard. It's not a um, it's not a easy decision, um, but there's enough um, there's enough stuff happening across the three chat channels that uh, it's getting back to the point where I'm getting reports from different people about how poorly they've been treated, you know, when they've been called ridiculed, called names. Um, and I know that it is a tiny percent of the people that are hanging out in those channels that are doing these things. In fact, I think it's probably, you know, five or less people, especially in chat channel one or two that would even engage in that kind of behavior. But there's just not enough, um, there are, not, there are not enough tools right now in place to um, to take care of, of those things as they happen. Not only am I, you know, I, I'm, I'm busy, I, I work full time. I mean, I'm, I'm just not able to be in the chat channels myself to see what's going on very much. Uh, and also, you know, now that we've, we're trying to make them smaller groups to see if that would help and so now even when I am on, I can't be in all the groups at the same time. Um, so like I, I happen to be in room one right now. It's actually the room that I hang out in the least overall. And it's the room that I've been hearing the most reports from recently. But I hear tons of negative stuff about some of the stuff that happens in room two. The only reports I don't get on is room three, but that's the smallest report. And that's also the room that I hang in the most. And so I think people that just have a different idea of how they want to treat each other, the language they want to use and that kind of stuff. Don't tend to come into room three because of how small it is. And they know that I'm, I, I assume they know that I'm, I'm in there. Anyway, I'm making some assumptions there. That's just how it seems to be. Those are the reports that I'm getting. So I guess I'm, I'm wanting to kind of put this message out there. Um, cause I know there's a lot of you that, are so supportive and watch my content both on Twitch and YouTube. You hang out in one of the channels, you enjoy the community there. And I hate it that if I find, do decide 100% to shut these rooms down, I hate it that that takes that community away from you. Um, but I tend to think about, um, the, the worst situations, the people that are being, for whatever reason, ostracized or bullied or whatever, if we can't protect those people, then it's not worth doing at all, you know? So anyway, 
that's that's where I'm leaning. Um, I just didn't think it was fair to do it without giving people a heads up. I'm probably going to actually go in and start giving people a written heads up in each chat channel because I mean that's you know that's 600 people or more that are going to have to find new places to hang out. Um, now what I hope to do is whenever I am streaming, I will try to remember to create a channel for that stream. And then anybody that wants to can come in and at least hang out with me during the stream. I would also encourage you if you want to create a chat channel, because there's going to be this void. If you want to let people know like, Hey, I'm creating a chat channel. This is, you know, this is what I'm hoping to do with it or whatever. Feel free. Maybe other communities will pop up as a result of this, or even, you know, even the community that we have associated with my channel, perhaps some of it will move to a different spot. And I think that's the hardest, one of the hardest parts for me is just these channels have my name on it. And so, um, you know, when whatever is happening and I'm not around to police it or protect it or keep tabs on it, um, it's being done in a spot that is associated directly with MDog. So that's, you know, I'm just not okay with that. Um, so that's where we are. I won't keep going and going. Like I said, I haven't made a hundred percent decision yet. It very much grieves me to have to do it. But at the point I'm at right now, I think it is the right thing to do. So, um, that's just a heads up. All right, let's get back to fishing. I will mention one more thing though. Let me see if I can find it on the uh, forum and kind of show you. Um, I do want to let you guys know that one week from yesterday, which um, that may not help you because there's no telling when you're watching this, but basically on August 26, is that right? Nope. August 19th is the correct answer. On August 19th, there is going to be a competition that will coincide with a stream. It looks like they're now advertising for this on the forum. RF4 is going to be providing some prizes for the top three. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Look at the size of it. All right, here we go. So it is actually being advertised here on the front. Um, so yeah, August 19th, first place, you're getting a medium boat rod and three days of premium. Second place, you're getting 6,000 silver in premium. Third place, you're getting 3,000 silver in premium. It's going to be a, a three fish comp. It'll last an hour and a half. So 36 in-game hours. And the three fish will be safe, pollock, and mackerel. We'll start the stream at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I guess that's 1400 CEST. Uh, and registration for the comp will open up at 11 a.m. Eastern time. The comp itself will start at 1130 a.m. That means it'll be over at 1 p.m. Eastern because it's an hour and a half, right? So I just wanted to give you a heads up about that. And with all of those things taken care of, let's just chill, relax, and enjoy a little fishing. So how is this setup doing with this tiny fish? Um, okay, so the eel pout on shrimp, shrimp. There's tiny fish on the haddock, shrimp, shrimp. So we're catching most of the fish right now are on the shrimp, which isn't a huge surprise. Those things are like candy to much of the uh, fish population in the Norwegian Sea. And real quick, as we're letting this sink again, I will show you what we have on. So at the bottom, we've got 6.504. Above that, 6.502. And then above that, the natural shrimp, 7.503. Notice all three of them are large three-aught hooks. And I think after this next fish, I may actually switch the tiny fish to a blue handmade. And then once it is... I don't know, 5, 6 a.m., we'll switch probably to something like the Blue Lurker. So we'll switch to a um, different rig type, but with the same drop below it. We'll see how this goes. So far, no points. We hope to maybe hit 99% during this happy hour, if possible.
And I have, sorry, I, I know my brain's going to keep going back to thoughts that I have about the chat channels. Just so you know, I've been getting, you know, I, I always get messages about things that are said in these chat channels. Um, it's just the volume of it that has increased that's become more and more concerning. Um, and I do always tell people, technically, even though this is a chat channel I have created in game, technically, and what Joe from RF4 has told me, it is still RF4's responsibility to receive reports when language is being used or bullying or whatever. There it is, folks. Uh, and so I always try to remind people, like, I, I mean, you know, I don't mind you telling me or whatever, but really, you got to report it to RF4. So that's the only way anything's going to happen. And that still will be the case, even if we don't have our MDOG chat channels anymore. If that's the decision I come to, that still will be the case wherever you're hanging out. If people are using language you're not comfortable with or you feel like bullying others, if you don't report it, nothing will happen. Okay, there's 99% on marine fishing. Very cool to see that. What did that come in on? The tiny fish? Huh. A tiny fish might be pretty good. The other thing we could have done is maybe put on the drop, put the blue handmade in place of one of these for the nighttime. I don't know. I'm always fascinated by like what's going to do better at night versus the daytime on, especially on these banks, 30, 34, 41. Fishing does change a little bit at night compared to the daytime. So, so far we're doing okay. I do expect it to pick up both in terms of the, quality of the small fish and the bite right bite rate once it's daytime um but we had that one really nice eel pal decent safe so we're still doing okay even though it's you know during the overnight time i am still thoroughly enjoying i, I can't remember chronologically like i will probably release this video pretty aggressively so maybe even like later today I'm recording this. There's another nice safe. I'm recording this on the 13th of August, early afternoon. I will probably have this one live by this evening because I want to get the warnings out about the chat channel in case that's what I end up doing. Because if I do it, it'll be sooner rather than later, maybe even early this week. So um, th this video will probably come out before uh, I've done a video really kind of highlighting this setup again um, and also doing a direct comparison between the Rigel, sorry, Regal, I think would be the right way to say it, and the Taiga C30. So if that's not already out, just know that that one's coming. I did a little fishing in that video, but it's mostly about just me talking. I, I think it's just such an interesting decision between this and the Taiga C30 if you are new to Norway or you're saving up for a good like beginner reel for this map. Some fascinating decisions. As is always the case, different equipment has different strengths, weaknesses, and can really make that decision even harder. All right, let's see what this is. I'm about ready to maybe try something different. Oh, it's a nice sorry. So those might be starting to wake up. So let's throw on, we actually have to go down to a three aught hook if we want to use a handmade, which I do. And while this is dropping, I think we had, Oh yeah, that's great. Let's glance at our baits here on safe to see what we want to make first. So these are about even. We smaller of these and huge fillets. I actually just haven't been using huge fillets, so that's why that is just slowly building up over time.
Let's let that settle all the way down there. See what we pick up here with the blue handmade. One thing that's nice about the blue handmade is um, it feels like Pollock come in on them a little more often. And I am a, uh, a big fan of Pollock, as I'm sure you are too. Um, the more Pollock you have in, in these fishing sessions, that typically drives up the total silver for the session. So it's nice if there's something you can do to just sort of lean towards Pollock a little bit. Green, catch a lot of Haddock as well. They'll both catch a lot of safe, but uh, it's just interesting to see what's what's working and how active either the Pollock or the Haddock or both are currently. And those tiny fish. That's why I liked starting with that tiny fish is that if there are any either Pollock or Haddock, you have a decent chance with those. I think we caught a couple small Haddock even on the tiny fish. So it's five o'clock. Let's do this one more time. Then we're going to switch over to the, uh, I think the lurker maybe. And if the lurker's not doing great, we might change over to one of the bonds. We'll see. So we know the sorry and the sardines are possible here. I'm curious if the, um, mackerel, how active they are right now. All right. So let's, yeah, let's try the lurker. Uh, we'll do three blue and blue and we'll start off with some small strips. I think everything else will keep the same for now and just kind of see what the bite rate's like. Hmm. Figured that was going to be something small, but that actually might just be a small safe. Oh, it's a Pollock. There you go. What did that come in on? The shrimp? There we go. That's what we like to see. I have heard that really nice mackerel have been coming out fishing down on the 80 bank. Um, but not all the way at the bottom, obviously more like, you know, 30, 40 meters down. But it's nice being here. I mean, sort of having the combination of fishing up in the higher water depth and getting some smaller species but also occasionally making it down to the bottom and seeing kind of what we can stumble into down there as well. Ooh. <laughs> it was there and then it was gone. Bait. So yeah, I think anything under three, we definitely want to turn into bait. Um, and really any of them are fine with me. I mean, you only get two of the large fillet, but it's such a small safe, like to get two large fillets, pretty nice.
but you get like what 10 if you get the strips or the small fillets I love seeing that. Who decided to put a super grub in there? That's great. So we hit 99%. You know, we're not hitting a ton of small fish. Let's wait till eight and then judge it. There's a sardine. It might start coming in now. I, I was going to say, if, if it doesn't increase like the amount of decent small fish we're catching, then I probably will switch at least a couple of these drops to handmaids or tiny fish or provokers, something that can have a chance of maybe increasing the value and size of the fish we're catching. Um, but uh, we might start seeing, I mean, I, I forget, sometimes 8 a.m., 7, 8 a.m. is when things start picking up a little bit. We could stop this, too, at like 20 and just perk it at 20. If we really wanted to focus in on, that would, mostly we're just going to catch small fish and like safe hitting it on the drop at that point, but it might increase the uh, bite rate a little bit just because of how efficient that can be. I don't know if it's still the case but recently the other option is like down at 41 not so much for small fish but just overall 41 has been really good lately to me as well we actually made it all the way down to the bottom that time Sculpin are pretty active. That's our uh, first mackerel in a while. We might have had one right at the beginning of our fishing. There we go, safe. All right, it's after eight, so now we can sort of see what is it going to be like fishing here with this setup. Pretty good overall, actually, so far.
That's a nice mackerel. Wow. Very nice mackerel. I think we were at 177 on fish uh, on the strips. That means really only two fish that we've caught has actually been on the lurker. All right, that was the third. So that was the lurker. Um, I do like that the mackerel are biting. All right, so let's do this. Let's try let's let's not worry about the the sorry and let's go with green and blue and we'll keep the one shrimp i think that shrimp is on here let's go ahead and cast it in I think that shrimp is on the mackerel list, or am I wrong? Actually, it's probably not, but not that many people use the larger size shrimp. I just like them for mackerel. A lot of people are using these naturals, but these are the 7.5s, right? Oh, there was one 13, so maybe we switch to that. The 13, although for the most part, this is gonna be making it to the bottom now. We should see a slight increase in size average of fish and less small fish. So for me, this means that we probably decrease the chances of getting another percent in marine fishing, but I'm kind of okay with that if the overall fishing improves a little bit. I mean, these are the kind of things I do when I'm out here. I just like make these adjustments as it looks you know, one way or the other. So the question is, was it the 13.06? Let's look. Mackerel. Yes, okay, 13.06. So we'll just leave that one on there, see if it maybe performs every once in a while with a, a nice mackerel. Ooh, like was this on that? Let's check it out. Yes. Which, if that's gonna do well, then maybe we put two of the 13 size on there and really embrace the, um, the mackerel, but let's wait and see. So this came in on the lurker. We could also go to the small fish instead of the strips. We're not necessarily aiming at small fish as much currently. Part of why the Norwegian Sea has been so fine is just these hot spots are slowly changing and you can make adjustments, try different things, lots of things will work. Um, it's just like variety, right? It's pretty cool. Love to see the spiny dogfish, and that was on the bigger shrimp, too. Yeah, we need to kind of watch to see if the um, 
I mean, everything we're catching is either the shrimp or the lurker right now. So if those handmaids aren't catching fish fast enough to keep up with the other things we have on, then we should probably switch them to something else. Maybe big, big natural shrimp or something. That was on the O3. So first safe on the O3. Remember this is uh, both are safe. This is more likely Haddock. This is more likely Pollock. At least that tends to be the trend. We'll see how it goes today. Have we even had a Pollock yet? Oh yeah, yeah, just that one. More Haddock though. We've had three Haddock, just not very big ones for the most part. That one was on the lurker. Okay. might have to ride south a little bit if we keep drifting at too fast a rate. Probably a small mackerel. I mean, it was pretty small. It dropped off though. All right, what did we catch that on? Because that's interesting. It's a nice size one though. Yeah, that's still the natural shrimp. So even the bigger size natural shrimp still caught a Atlantic sorry. Okay. Lurker. Those mackerel do like the lurker still. Feels like our bite rate has picked up, right? In some ways. Or maybe we're just getting less of the like undersized sardines and stuff that we were getting. Most stuff has been keepers recently. Most. I need to keep those small things and just check, see what they're coming in on. That was probably on the lurker or the shrimp though, since it was a small mackerel. You would think this would be the time when one of those handmaids might shine, but we'll see. Yeah, that was on the 05, so that was the blue one.
That's a nice safe. Lurker. A lot longer to get a bite that time. It's colorful. It looks like I've never used it. It's probably because it's terrible. But we'll try it. Safe is the place. I'm just noticing we are now into our last fourth of a level towards 45. So we're 75% in on 44 to 45. goes a lot quicker at Norway.
Nice mackerel. 1306. Wait, have we gotten anything yet on the 1305? We're just like probably wasting a spot with that one on there. I don't know. Let's see. We'll give it another fish or two. Another nice mackerel. Holy cow. 1306. We should just have two 1306s, but I don't think I have a second one. I have the red one. Whatever that is, the might be the 07 or I don't know. All of a sudden the mackerels were going off there. Oh my goodness. These are amazing. 1306. 1306 is the answer right now for mackerel. I think I'm going to just stop this at 20 and perk it if it doesn't have a fish on that's too many fish in a row not hitting that one shrimp though we need to change it i don't want to waste oh wait hold on i don't want to waste too much time changing it but 1305 is that our first? Okay, are you serious? We get a whiting on it? Okay. <laughs> Is that the way you target whiting? Use all 1305s? Oh, it dropped off. Whatever it was. six it's crazy crazy good probably small safe right Thirteen oh six again. Oh my goodness, guys. This is such a good run of mackerel. Another one. Wow, 99.1. I knew if we kept catching these mackerel, we'd get points. These are the best fish in the game for me to catch to get points. All right, let's get off this silly, uh, this silly whiting shrimp and let's go to the 1307. I'm also tempted to put another natural shrimp on the lowest drop while we're doing this, but um, yeah, what's up destroyer greetings. Um, but I also just don't want to, I mean, this seems to be doing fine by itself. Let's check that one. 
That was on the 06. The 06 is just like, I mean, seriously, right now, just come out here with three 06s on. Size three or four hook, whatever you can do. Am I using three or four? Three. I think you can do four with the bigger size shrimp, but I'm not even sure. I need to double check that. Wait, have we moved or is it the time it is i do feel like man we hit that time where it was just like the mackerel were absolutely going off there she is 807 wow and that was the 06 again all right let me try something so if we put the 40 hook on what shrimp can we put on any oh yeah we can still put the small guys on there so let's see let's do the smaller 06 so this is still the 06, but it's the 7.5 instead of the 13. But we've also got a larger hook on there. So maybe that will still work good. We have a short window of time here where this mackerel will still be a little bit active. Maybe. Now that's getting a little later, maybe we just, oh, there's a small one. Uh, I should have checked it to see what was, what it came in on. How much time have we made? 48 minutes. Technically, we still have a little bit of happy hour left. I'm trying to decide if I want to extend this ticket or just let this be the end. Because we are getting into like later. Let's see if we can get one more fish in here and then might just let this be the end. only this was a mackerel but I'm pretty sure it's a safe or something a little bit larger than mackerel all right there's a safe all right let's just go to 15 see if we can get one at the top here before the boat expires Oh, there we go. There we go. much time oh, I think we just made it all right okay so let's see here let's turn that last safe into some strips put that away we will not extend and let's see how we did. All right, sardine, perfect. So there's 88. Haddock would have been doable. I just didn't know we needed to go for it. All right, so not the biggest haul on cafe. So we still did over 500. That's pretty good because, you know, before we went on that mackerel run, and you see the mackerel saved the day here. Before we went on that mackerel run, I was going to say this feels like one of the weakest, you know, happy hour sessions I've had, even when targeting small fish. 
but we still did 500 silver when you count the over 500 when you count the well over 500 when you count the cafe order so still a, a great haul and most importantly not only did we hit 99 percent, we hit 99.1 percent. so our our final leg of the journey continues um as always thanks for the support thanks for watching and i uh, look forward to seeing you again very soon um not sure i may get a random stream in beforehand but if not the next stream will certainly be um on the 19th when we have our um competition and prizes provided by rf4 all right thanks for watching see you next time folks